So this is the Olympus TG4. Uh, you'll notice it's a really small, compact body. Um, it's waterproof, uh, which ostensibly means you could probably wipe it lightly uh, without worrying about it. I don't know how it would do with disinfectant chemicals though. Uh, the lens is sealed within this glass and will not zoom in or out. Uh, and the flash is relatively close to it. So that makes it bad for red eye, but really good for dental photography. So as we go over here to the back side, you'll see the controls are very simple. Just the mode dial, there's a zoom and a power button, a zoom and a shutter button, and the power button has a nice bridge uh, feel to it, so it's easy to, to uh, turn on and off without looking. Um, one thing I like a lot about it is that it has a zoom, and not only is the zoom 4x, but you can actually use macro at 4x, which is the other thing besides that flash that makes it really good uh, for shooting. Uh, pictures there. It also has a microscope mode, so if you want to get really ridiculously close, you'd never be able to get this close to a mouth, but you know, you can get pictures that way too. And there's an LED attachment you can buy, but not necessary for dental photography to buy that, that ring attachment with it at all. It works um, out of the box with a couple settings, which I, I will show for you right now. Um, I've modified mine a little bit to work with dental photography better. We start by going into A mode here, and then we hit the, um, not the up button, sorry. We hit the uh, left button right here, hit the left button, and then I set the aperture up to 6.3. 18 is unnecessary, that's probably for the microscope mode, um, and, the, and then just hit OK. And then I'm going to hit the up button and go up, 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 up uh, cursor pad here, and I'm going to pick um, muted color. Um, I actually prefer my dental pictures to have uh, muted color. For flash, I'm going to set it to always, fl always uh, flash, fill in. Exposure compensation, not necessary. The white balance, I'm actually going to set to custom. Um, and now it's going to ask you to uh, capture that white balance. Now this is an advanced technique that not many people do, but it's the only way I'm able to get accurate color with this thing. Uh, I can't get it with the uh, manual setting as well. And that's been my main criticism of people who show me pictures from this camera is that the color's off. Well, there's an easy fix for that. It's about, it costs about $20 for a quality white card. Uh, it's this white bell card here. I'm gonna put it in front of the camera. We're gonna push the menu button here. It says capture WB menu, so I'm gonna hit the menu button here. And it's gonna take a picture. And it will analyze that gray, and now it will have accurate color. Okay, ISO, we can leave it auto. We can leave that, leave that, and leave that. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit okay. And we hit menu, okay. Go over here to, um, go down to, here it is, custom mode setup here. It's under the first monkey wrench. So go down to the, uh, go down to the monkey wrench turns green there. It's kind of hard to see on my phone here. Yeah, there you can see the green monkey wrench. Go over to custom, mon custom mode setup, hit okay. And then hit custom mode one there. And then it'll ask you if you want to set or reset. I'm going to hit set, and that's going to save um, all those parameters I just wrote. Okay? And now, what I tell my staff person is, you're going to use uh, in the auto mode for headshots. Okay? And when we have dental shots, we turn to C1 mode. And the C1 mode has been saved, so you can see all my settings there on the side. My muted color, my flash all the time, my custom gray balance. Um, have all and my f6.3 have all been permanently set and so now when we take a picture I just tell tell them to go ahead and zoom it all the way forward aim and shoot and then you get a nice you get some pretty nice photos with it um, I've posted some other test shots um, one thing I've noticed is some lip shading um, on some of the quadrant shots. Uh, you can angulate it slightly. That's going to be a limitation of having a single point flash, but I think for 380 new and 300 refurbished, it's a pretty good deal. So some final thoughts on the camera. I really like this camera overall, uh, especially for the for the price point. I think it's really hard to beat. It kicks the butt of any photo men. 
uh, setup, that $1,600 Canon setup from PhotoMed. Uh, it's certainly going to give most economy setups a run for its money uh, in terms of image quality. Now that said, some limitations, it is a point and shoot small sensor. Um, the sensor is basically a, um, the size of an iPhone sensor, today's iPhone sensor, which is big for a smartphone, but really small as cameras go. Uh, so you're not going to get low light sensitivity for non-dental shots. Uh, I took this out to Disneyland uh, a couple days ago and it doesn't hold up once it gets dark or once you're indoors. In daylight is decent. Um, when you're using flash with your dental photography, it's really good. Um, the detail and sharp, the color uh, is very good once it's custom white balanced, which I showed you in the video. Um, the level of detail uh, is, I think is very good. Uh, for $400, for 380 it's you really can't beat the, that setup. Um, that's what most lenses cost. So um, with that said, uh, if your audience is submitting for Invisalign shots or presenting quick shots to your patients, showing them the treatment they need, uh, or routine baseline photographs, even even taking oral path shots, I think it's decent for that, which I can't say for a lot of cameras. I'm probably going to stick to using my uh, Panasonic GX85 for my shots uh, day to day, and I have a twin rig uh, with this if I need to take portfolio stuff. But this setup here um, works for my day to day shots. The detail level is better with this camera. I will say it's much more expensive though. We're looking at this setup here, you're looking at about um, 800 for the body and um, about six, five or 600 for the lens, another uh, few bucks for the diffuser and hood setup. So not as cheap. Uh, and so for bang for the buck, yes, the Olympus uh, definitely gets definitely gets my recommendation. If you're looking for a simple budget camera, you're not worried about the staff dropping it or getting it wet. Uh, I think it's a fantastic machine for everyday use for staff, for sure. Uh, for portfolio or for lecturing or present or publication, I'd be a little bit more reluctant. I think it's probably just a step short of that. And one other, a couple other nuisances, it does not come with a charger. You'll have to use a proprietary USB cable. It comes with one. I highly suggest you get uh, more of them. Or you can get a, a USB card reader um, at each operatory, which is probably uh, what I'm going to do. I know this one here on Amazon. It's a hub and card reader in one. It has that aluminum uh, Apple book. So that's it for my thoughts with the camera. Um, I'll give it a buy rating. I think it's worth 